once he backs in far enough, all we got to do is get the bow up over it and then attach his strap to it and he can winch it in. What's up guys, it's Brian again from Lake Hickory Scuba Marina. If you are new to our channel, do me a huge favor. Hit this little subscribe button right here and ding that little bell as well. That way you guys are going to be notified every time we upload new content. Now you guys know that we're an underwater recovery and salvage company here at Lake Hickory Scuba. And we do a ton of recoveries here in our local lakes and even our surrounding lakes. And we, of course we've got all the equipment to do it. But what you may not know is sometimes we get caught up on the spur of the moment and we still have to do a recovery even without this equipment. So in today's video, I'm going to show you exactly how we retrieved a boat off the bottom of the lake without any type of lifting devices and still didn't have any hazmat problems or any loose debris that we had to go back and pick up as well. So I'm going to give you a little bit of backstory on this salvage that we're fixing to perform here because this is kind of going to be a two-part video. Um, this video itself is going to be focused on how did we get this vessel out of the water without lift bags and things like that. But the second part of this video is going to be a recovery of a safe, which you'll see here shortly. But in short, a gentleman was out fishing. He forgot to put the plug in his uh, boat. The boat starts sinking, and then by the time he realized it was sinking, he grabbed the plug, jumped in, uh, in installed the plug on his vessel, but by then it was way too late, and the vessel went down. But we're just going out, and we're doing a quick search for this vessel, and then this is where the second part of the video, which will be the next video we upload, will kind of come in. While searching for this vessel, we actually came across a safe, and that's what you're seeing here now on screen. So we actually came across a safe while we was under there and had to call local law enforcement officials out to uh, verify whether it was stolen and all that. So we're going to put a quick buoy here on this safe and then continue with our search of the vessel itself. But once we come up, we are going to kind of reconvene. We kind of got off the track. We started this search out initially uh, using a compass, and we were just going to swim straight down the ramp to uh, try to find the vessel that went down. But when we found the safe, we kind of got off our track a little bit. So we decided to come up and uh, get our bearings again and then go down and do a search. Uh, the search pattern that we decided to use here, of course, was a circle search. So one diver held on to the line, the other one held on to the reel, and then we just did a circle search until we located the vessel. Now, the vessel is located in approximately, I believe it was around 24, 25 feet deep, something like that. And it's on a very, very soft bottom, so it's nothing but silt. There's no uh, big rock boulders or anything like that that can really uh, damage this vessel if we tried to pull it across the silt. Because like I said in the early, earlier part of this video, we didn't really have... Uh, our bags and stuff with us when we received this call and it was kind of a, a really fast-paced call too We received it. We were there anyways. So let's see if uh, let's see if we can get it up So of course once we find the vessel we're going to mark it just like we do on any other type of uh, Salvage or search and recovery if you saw our public safety video where we talked about find it market map it Basically, that's what we're doing. We found the object We're going to mark it real quick and then we're going to do a quick survey of it Just like we do on all our other salvages to see what it's going to take to get it up one thing that we did notice, with it being on that really soft bottom, that silty bottom, without bags, it actually made dragging this vessel very easy. Now, this vessel is sitting uh, upright the way it should be. It's sitting on the bottom of the hull. Um, I was able to raise uh, the outboard. It's got a little five horsepower uh, outboard engine on it that I was able to raise up. And it also had a trolling motor that was vertical as well. And I was able to pick it up. So there's nothing really anchoring this vessel to the bottom that can be damaged while we are dragging it. And the decision to drag it was made simply because we were there. It is an extremely small vessel. It's not that heavy at all. And though we could not physically swim it up from this depth, two divers, it was close enough to shore that we could hook a strap system to it and kind of winch it or pull it up to a certain depth to where we could physically pick it up and drag it with just two divers. So now that we got it um, marked here at the surface, we're going to swim back in shore and the owner's going to bring us a strap system. And we're going to just continue to extend that strap out until we get to the vessel itself to a point where we can 
actually pull it up using his vessel and the way that we're going to do that we're going to attach the the strap to the bow eye of the of the vessel and then attach the other side of the strap to his boat trailer and we're just going to have him slowly ease up the ramp pulling this vessel across the bottom and on the silty bottom part where there's no damage being caused to the vessel um, and we don't have to worry about trying to raise it and lose everything that was in the vessel because when this vessel went down everything went down with it and it did not float away which was absolutely amazing all his fishing rods his tackle box everything that was in the vessel was still in the vessel once we got it up so basically by dragging it on the bottom we didn't run the risk of losing any debris or anything like that uh, we were kind of in that perfect situation there you can see the, the outboard engine I've got it tilted up so it's not dragging on the bottom it was kind of that perfect situation that we didn't really want to change anything so we just decided hey let's hook to the bow eye of the vessel and then hook to the trailer and let him slowly pull it up until it gets to the edge of the ramp now once it's at the edge of the ramp now we do have to be concerned about dragging this vessel up on the concrete itself we didn't want to do that because we could damage the vessel that way or damage the hull of it so what we decided to do is get it to a point where myself and the other diver could physically lift it up underwater and literally walk it up the ramp so once we got to where the vessel was sitting on the concrete itself myself and the other diver was physically able to kind of walk it up to a point to where we could actually attach the winch system of his trailer to it. Now, as he's winching it up, you will notice we are actually keeping the bow of that vessel up, and I'm kind of keeping the, the stern of the vessel up just so it doesn't drag across the bottom of the concrete. And even if just a little bit drags, that's going to be okay, but we didn't want the hole itself dragging. Now, once it's up on the trailer, then it's pretty self-explanatory how it come up. Now, the last little bit of thing that we've got to do is get the water out of the vessel because that's a lot of weight for his truck to try to pull up even though the vessel's small it's still quite a bit of weight so of course what do we do we pull the plug now this vessel would not have went down if he had put the plug in originally but like i said he got in he forgot to put his plug in he realized it was sinking he jumped into water shoved the plug in it but by that time it was already too late but we simply pull the plug for him and now as he pulls his vessel out of the water all the water will simply drain out There you go guys, sometimes when you do salvage work like we do, it's not always just cookie cutter easy to do. Uh, sometimes we do have the right equipment, sometimes we don't. We have to improvise when we're on the dive site itself. But if you've got any questions on salvage work or underwater recovery, just drop me a comment down below and I'll try to answer it the best I can. Guys, if you liked the video, give me a big thumbs up. Definitely share it as well. As always, guys, make sure you follow us on Instagram and Twitter. Like us on Facebook, pin us on Pinterest, subscribe to us here on YouTube. And as always, guys, we appreciate your business.